I have a degree in American studies, which probably makes me interested in a lot of things. And then I graduated from the uh, building construction program at the Rhode Island School of Design. A daughter of mine uh, was living in Washington and, uh, and because I always build furniture, said, Dad, will you build me a coffee table with something I can store something in? And I conjured up the idea of a sea chest and I put her name on it, Sarah. And while I was doing it, a gentleman down the street who, in fact, I had built a house for used to stop by. And he was a graduate of the Maritime Academy. And he said, hey, you ought to put an ad in the Naval Institute magazine and advertise these things. And I did. Well, a sea chest is a, a tradition that was started in the uh, early 1800s in the French and British Navy where um, officers were, were made these rather elaborate and fancy sea chests. It, it was adopted in the U.S. Navy in the First World War. I have nine different models and uh, basically most of them are, uh, are plywood. My module is nine. I buy enough stock for nine. I bring it in here. We've, you know, shipped it literally, you know, literally every every state, and I, I keep, you know, I keep track of them. I think the the most complicated places are are Alaska and Hawaii, and UPS charges next day air for every item that goes there, so it's rather rather expensive. But people who live there don't seem to mind. Buying a sea chest is not a spontaneous purchase. Um, every, every one that I've done involves some thought process. And I've done uh, pretty close to 60 different admirals. And the funny part of that is that whoever orders them from the admiral, and it's usually you know, a, lesser, a lesser officer, has to check with the admiral's wife. And the admiral's wife is, is the one who makes the final decision. I had a funny story. I, I shipped one to a, a guy in uh, Baltimore. And uh, within a matter of days, he, he wrote me back this note critiquing what was wrong with the sea chest. And he went, it was a page and a half. He went over it inch, almost inch by inch. And I emailed him back. I said, put it in a box ship it back to this address and we'll refund all of your money plus the cost to ship it. I said, but remember, it's a sea chest. It's not a piano. It's not a refrigerator. It's not a coffin. It's a handmade finished item that's intended to look old. It's a replica. It's a replica. And two days later, I got an email back from him. He said, I want to apologize. He said, I have it in the front window of my house at Rolbeth Beach with a telescope on it. He said, it's everything you said that it is. Mm -hmm.